I cannot believe you ran out of gas. Well, I did. I cannot believe it. Today of all days, my only brother laying in the funeral home, the entire family waiting on us, here we sit on Route 35 in the middle of nowhere in this death trap you call a car and not a speck of gas in it. You did this on purpose, didn't you? Ray ought to be here soon. It's been over half an hour since I called him. Said he'd get here as soon as he could. What time is it? No, oh, I don't know about five. I cannot believe it. Well, believe it, all right. Just believe it. <laughs> you do these things to torture me, don't you? Yeah, Mom, I siphoned out that gas just so you and I could spend a little more time together. <laughs> you're a demon, Royce. I swear to God, you're the devil incarnate. Look, just keep your drawers on, all right? Ray ought to be here as soon as he can. And believe me, it can't be soon enough to suit me. So let's just sit here and be quiet for a while. <laughs> so we're just going to sit here. Yep, that's the plan. Leave Jim Ed alone, Mama. What are you going to do, Royce? What do you plan on doing with yourself? That's what I'd like to know. The <laughs> unemployment checks aren't going to last forever, you know. Have you thought about that, about the future? You better learn what's important. Life is not drinking and dancing and loose women. <laughs> Life is not a good time, Royce. Well, you're living proof of that. <laughs> You're going to be doing your dancing on a bed of flaming hot coals. You better make a plan and make it soon. I got a plan. Oh, well, let's hear it. Well, when them unemployment checks run out, I'm going to find some woman, marry her, and have a kid. Then I can get on welfare. <laughs> that's your plan? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I just got one thing to say to that. Yeah, what? A blessing. Oh, Jesus is mine. Purchase of love, born of his feet. 